Hello everyone, it's the Trip Keeper here. Today's video is going to be different than what I've done before, um, but I've seen a bunch of other drug tubers do this kind of video, and that's make a tier list. Um, I see a bunch of just, like every YouTuber does a tier list on their channel, and doesn't, doesn't matter what it's for, but since I have a drug channel, I figured, hey, I might as well, you know, hop on this trend. Um, so yeah, I've seen a bunch of drug tubers do it recently, but they've been doing just strictly drug uh, tier lists, but this is going to be um, a delirium tier list. So just sticking to specifically delirium, not any other drug, um, just this one, uh, types of drugs, sorry. Um, so I picked a couple that I thought, you know, were good enough to put on here, ones that I'm slightly familiar with, um, some's that, uh, some of them that I'm really familiar with. Uh, as you can see, Detour there, that fourth one, we'll, we'll get to that one. Um, and this is going to be different than ranking drugs like, oh, this is my favorite one, or like what the effects produce and shit. Well, that's going to be part of it, but I'm, because I've only done three of these, okay? So I, this is going to be based off of like the history of it, the insanity of them, and just whatever I feel like. So this is going to be a different type of ranking. I don't know if I'm going to use every single, you know, level like S, A, B, C, D, F. I don't know. I'm just going to go. I didn't prepare to 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 put, you know, where I'm going to put it at. I'm just going to go off. I wrote some notes down so I know which one's in order because there's some. You see the chemical structures on there. Um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to remember that off the top of my head, which one is which, because they're all, you know, it's hard to tell from there. But the other ones we could clearly see, you could clearly see the first one's Dramamine. So, you know, you, you know that, but the chemical structures, you know, I had to write it down so I don't forget it and look like an idiot. Um, so, yeah, um, I guess we can get started. Um, all right. Uh, first time doing this shit, so I don't... I'm going to have a good time with this, and I hope you guys have a good time too, and uh, grab a snack or some shit, boof some detura, shove it up your ass, you know, do whatever you want to boof. Hey, right now, I just boofed 50 billion detura pods, so yeah, I'm right there with you. So as I'm making this delirium tier list, I will be getting delirious. <laughs> All right, so the first one is Dramamine, or... The actual chemical name dimenhydrinate and this is to treat nausea vomiting and dizziness caused by motion sickness I've done one video on this before and it actually got a lot of views so I might do another one uh, put in the comments if you want me to do a, uh, another video on this so just let me know uh, this one's a little crazy um, it's not as crazy as some of the other ones on here and I've never done this one well when I get to the ones I've done I'll tell you the ones that I've done before and there's one on those, this list that's not classified as a delirium, but it does give delirium-like effects. So I just want to make that clear. So if you see the, if you see the one I'm talking about, you'll know. You, you'll know. Um, and I'm also recording by my bedroom window because I want to be comfortable. I'm on my bed, so you might hear birds and shit, and it's raining. So hey, that might add to the effects of it. And uh, we'll just go, go with the flow, I guess. Um, so Dramamine. Let's see where where should we put this fucking thing? Um, it's not like an amazing, you know, it's not like one that's talked about a lot, you know, it's, it's there, people do it for fun, um, which is, I don't recommend doing any of these for fun, maybe, maybe lean if you know, <laughs> the next one we'll see, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't condone any drug use, so just want to put that out there. Uh, but this one, I've never done it, so I can't really describe what it feels like, um, and there's not really like... There, this doesn't end well. Most of these don't end well either, but this one is just like the insanity and just the history of it. It's not that It's not that fun. So I think I'm going to put this in the C tier. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm going to be ranking them. So it's just basically whatever the fuck I want to do. I don't know if you, if, uh, and put in the comments below if you agree or disagree with my decisions. So yeah, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, the next one, promethazine or people like to call it purple drink or lean um, it is used to relieve symptoms of allergic reactions and it is an antipsychotic sedative and antihistamine now since it is an antihistamine that uh, puts it in the delirium category because 
the anti that's that's the kind of effects they produce you know just craziness like that shit so um i've never done this either um but i've known people that have and i know that it was made popular by uh little wayne uh remember i remember uh Back when I was like, what, probably in middle school, uh, he almost died. He had a seizure. Like, do you guys remember that? Like, it was all over TMZ. Like, oh, little Wayne's in critical, uh, critical condition. He's gonna die, but then he survived because he's little Wayne. So <laughs> he doesn't die. He's he's like the modern day Keith Richards, <laughs> if I'm being honest. That that's how it feels. Um, but this is a very popular drug. Um, people like to romanticize it a lot, which I think honestly, it could be. You know, it's honestly probably better than deter. I'd say I don't think I would try deter if you paid me three billion dollars. Okay, maybe I would, but this is probably one of the better options on here. I'd have to say, because um, I know people really love it, but you got to be careful with any drug here. You know, but there's some on here that you know you can't do. But uh, with with promethazine, lean purple drink, whatever you want to call it, it's it's a pretty interesting drug so i'm gonna put it in the a tier just because of its history and you know what it does to people and it's just like so popular um and like i said i haven't done it so i can't put my two cents on it but i'm just gonna give you the basic info and shit and tell you what i think about it just from viewing it from just the outside world you know all right, now this one, I added, uh, the next one is called Ditran or JB329. And if you guys don't know what that is, I don't blame you. And uh, I added this one and two other ones. You'll see the chemical structures. They're, they are chemical warfare agents and uh, they were used, uh, you know, uh, they were trying to create a non-lethal, you know, incapacitating agent, you know, to, you know, for chemical warfare. So, um it is related to QNB, which is another one later on the list that I'm going to be doing. And uh, yeah, they they use this, uh, they produce this during the chemical weapons research. And uh, yeah, like I said, they wanted to create non-lethal incapacitating agents. And I thought, and I thought these were pretty cool. You know, I was looking up Delirians and I saw these chemical agents, uh, chemical warfare agents. I'm like, damn, maybe I should add these because that's pretty interesting. There's not a lot of information on them um, except the QNB. There's a whole, you know, there's pages and pages of it. But the other two, very, very little, little to no information. I was actually going to create a video on one of them that I'm going to do upcoming here pretty soon. But there's just like you could not like there's only a couple paragraphs and there's a lot there's pages of it but it's just copy and paste of the same the same things you know just a bunch of wikipedia pages so but i thought it was pretty cool to have this on here that they created this and um yeah it's not the the strongest one like the one we'll get to in a couple 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 moments here um but it's definitely interesting but since there's not a lot of information on it and you know we don't really know what happens I'm going to have to put it in B tier because it's still pretty cool, but it's not as cool as the other ones. Now this next one, I think we all know what this next one is. If you're a fan of my channel, you've been watching for a while, you know what the hell my channel is all about, what it's built on. That's Datura. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, we, we know what happens on Datura, and uh, just the, everything about it is just insane. All the stories I've ever read on this channel, even the ones that are like where nothing crazy really happened compared to every other drug, it's it's very crazy. So, like, man, this there's a lot of history to this drug, uh, plant, I should say, sorry, I don't know why I'm saying drug, but plant. And uh, it's been used in history for a while, like and with witchcraft too, which is fucking insane. Uh, but it's also it was used medicinally too uh, back in the day, you know, to treat some shit. And uh, yeah, so this is um, but the hallucinations is what is what uh, is really the main the main thing about this this plant because it is you can see some pretty insane hallucinations. The most popular one is phantom cigarettes, where if you guys don't know what that is, and if you're not familiar with my channel, if you're new here, um, you basically, a popular hallucination is when you're, you do it and uh, you, pretend, you, uh, you hallucinate you have cigarettes. And it's just like the weirdest phenomenon. Like you'll be smoking them, you'll keep on smoking them, and then something will happen where you'll drop it, and then it'll just disappear, or something will happen, or you just be smoking it and just disappears from your hand. 
I think that shit is so insane how that keeps happening. Like, I don't know why cigarettes is it like, I don't know if, if people who smoke cigarettes take Datura or if you even have to like smoke or not to even have that hallucination. I just find that crazy. So yeah, this, this plant is fucking insane. And I don't think I can put this anywhere else, but S tier. This is honestly delirium. The delirium category is not made without this plant. This is like the epitome of delirium. So I couldn't put it anywhere else but S. I'm going to take a sip of water here really quickly. Lemon water. Good for you. Detoxification. All right. This next one is Unisom. Uh, I should have got the pronunciation for the chemical. Do doxylamine. Do doxylamine. I... I, I really wish if I was recording a trip report for this, I would find out the pronunciation, but I hope I got it, um, but I'm not going to look it up. So Doc Silent, I've never done it before. This is one I've never done. I've also never done uh, Detura before. Just want to put that out there. But I've also said I wouldn't do Detura for a billion dollars before, so you probably could have put two and two together. Um, this is an antihistamine to treat insomnia and allergies. Um, yeah, this is, uh, there's not really that many trip reports on it. Um, or else I would have read them. I think I might have read one um, recently on the de uh, delirium uh, video that I had where I just put all different types of delirium together and read a couple trip reports for that. I might I forgot if I put that in there or not, but if I did, then you know, like, at least you have some knowledge of it. But this, this is probably the least popular uh, over-the-counter drug that you can do that's a delirium. Like I don't like Dramamine. I, I knew more about Dramamine than I've heard of Unisom. Like I've seen it in the store, but I did not know it was a delirium until probably last year. So with the little knowledge that we, uh, that I have about this, sorry. And just like, there's not a lot of trip reports, so I can't really like base it off of anything, but I still wanted to include, uh, include this. Cause I know people do this a lot. Um, but I'm going to put this in the D tier just because a little just there's nothing interesting about it that's all i gotta say um so yeah now this next one get prepared for this next one this one is also a chemical warfare agent um this one's called ea3167 and these chemical warfare agents they also have uh actual scientific names like every other you know chemical structure but I'm not gonna pronounce. I'm not gonna even try because they're so long. And I, I, I just looked at them like, should I write it down? I'm not even gonna try it. So just so you know that. So if you want to get the full chemical name for it, look it up. Um, this, this was created, and it was um, back pff, how many years ago? It was like I said, this was used for chemical weapons research. Um, this is the strongest by far uh, hallu uh, hallucinogenic drug. Uh, Honestly, this shit is so insane. I can't believe this. Well, this is definitely stronger than deter. I'm going to put that out there, but it's not like something that people do. You know, it's not recreational. <laughs> um, this one, it, the effects, get this, get this. I ha Sorry, I have these notes here and my handwriting is shit. I should have put it on my phone. I don't know why, but um, I'll, I'll just go here. The effects can last anywhere from five to 10 days in which a full on peak with vivid hallucinations can last three full days, along with confusion, amnesia, and inhibition of speech and cognition. Isn't that fucking crazy? Like imagine getting, getting, uh, having this being used on you and it lasts five to 10 days. Imagine it lasting 10 days, like anywhere from five to 10 and it doesn't, you don't fully recover after 20 days. That's what I saw and a full-on peak for three days so you're probably not sleeping during that three days at least and who knows if you're going to be sleeping during those 10 days if the effects are still on there like i'm sure your brain is just constantly pff, i don't even know man that this shit just sounds insane and they uh they stopped after they realized you know this is actually like this is worse than fucking probably uh an actual lethal lethal gas or some shit um god what's that one? Oh. I'm trying to remember it you guys it, they used it in uh iraq and shit on people it's odorless gas uh if i was live right now you guys could tell me but um i'll remember after i upload this video and i'll be like wow why didn't i remember that um 
Yeah, so this is fucking insane. Um, I think it's probably a good thing we don't, you know, create these kind of create this shit anymore. Not that I know of. Maybe we do. Maybe it's secretly, like probably in Russia or some shit. There's probably some Putin's doing some shit like that. But uh, yeah, uh, this just for the craziness of this alone and being the strongest um, chemical warfare delirium agent of all time. Um, I'm going to have to put this in A tier. And like I said, there's not too much information on this. And this is the drug, uh, the chemical I wanted to do a video on, but there was not a lot of information, just like the last one that I did, uh, Ditran. So um, if there, if if more and more information comes out about it, I'm going to be doing a video on it. But for right now, there's only a couple paragraphs, like I said before. There's only a couple paragraphs on it of information that people know. And then the references they used in the Wikipedia and stuff is just many pages and uh of like a book and that's just too much to go through and i don't even know how much information from that book is in it so yeah um so yeah look that up if you're interested it's called ea3167 uh to repeat that again uh this next one uh is another plant that is a deliriant um well duh this is a deliriant tear make you're a fucking idiot uh <laughs> This one's called Mandrake, and I know Deep Purple has a song called Mandrake, uh, or some shit like that. I forgot. Now, now don't even quote me on that. I, but I, I know that uh, I saw this somewhere. I think it was Deep Purple. Um, now, this, uh, this plant, I keep on saying drug. This plant was used, and I haven't done this before, and I haven't done any of the ones before before this so uh this one was used in sur uh, for surgery in ancient times as an anesthetic so i thought that was pretty cool like i said uh they use these uh these 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 delirium type plants they they were used for positive shit back then you know like deterra like as bad of a rap it gets it it was used for positive shit uh for you know medicinally so uh yeah uh, if you applied this plant externally it was for rheumatic pains like rheumatoid arthritis. And if you did it internally, uh, it was for melancholy, convulsions, and mania. So this plant has a lot of positive benefits to it when used pro uh, properly, but hey, people will find a way to abuse it. And uh, I just find the history really cool on this plant. And the fact that Deep Purple made a song on it, hey, we're going to have to put this in A tier. No, you know, what? I'm going to put in B tier because just the it, it's just not as well known as um Detura and the one i'm gonna get here right pretty soon after the next one um so yeah i'll put it in b and i'm actually gonna rank these um in order so yeah Detura will be top lean i'm gonna put ea3167 so this is pretty close to s tier i'd say but um yeah and then this was ditran yeah i'll put Di uh, ditran behind that and then drum okay so I got just one for those. Okay, I'm gonna flip the page. This one, we all know what this one is. Um, Benadryl, diphenhydramine. <laughs> this, this drug also has gotten me very popular on YouTube and on TikTok now. One of my TikToks have like almost 60,000 views on it, but I don't count TikTok views as important as YouTube views, like not even close, because you can do any shit on TikTok and you can get famous for it. So I'm just doing that, just uploading uh, my short stories on there. So that's all. If you want to follow me on there, you can. Um, but I don't blame you if you don't, because I don't fucking use TikTok. I just use it to upload my my stories. So that's all I use it for. I don't watch. I just want to put that out there. Fuck TikTok. Uh, everyone knows Benadryl, even if you don't, no, it produces delirium like effects like you know if you you know people do this as an actual medication you know they uh you know to treat a lot of stuff it's good for that just that's all, but and insomnia of course um but if you're if you're using this recreationally you know it's it it is probably one of the worst drugs you can do i mean i'm not gonna you know at least le worst legal drugs honestly because of course, it's not as bad as heroin, you know, not as bad as meth, crack, you know, any of those, fentanyl, of course, but like for over-the-counter, anything you can buy, um, this is probably the worst, and it's, and it's getting romanticized by people on TikTok, and that's why I fucking hate it, and I just did, uh, I just did a video on a kid who, a 13-year-old kid who died doing the Benadryl challenge, and people wanted to make fun of that kid for 
for dying and being stupid. But you got to remember, these kids are 13 years old and they were born in the TikTok generation. So whatever they see online, they're going to want to try. They don't, they're not going to, they're not smart enough to yet, they're not smart enough yet to like research how bad this drug can like, it can kill you, you know? So that, yeah, because he died. So if you want to watch that video, uh, you can watch it after this one or right now if you're bored of this video right now. So uh, yeah, go watch that. Very sad shit. And it's just, it's just terrible. Now, um, when you take Benadryl at high doses, for sure, uh, you can encounter this thing, this entity called the Hat Man. It's like the DMT equivalent to machine elves. But this guy is, um, I hear he's not the nicest of men, nicest of dudes, um, but hey, I, I don't know. I, I've never come across him. And this is the one drug I have done on here uh, out of the other three I haven't mentioned yet. Uh, and when I did it personally, it was it was the weirdest feeling ever. Like I, and I was doing it just just to feel something, even though it was not fun. I just remember the one time I actually have a video. I've mentioned this before, but on my other videos about this video, my near fatal DPH trip. Go watch that that one if you're thinking of trying this drug. Um, there's a bunch of videos on my channel about why you shouldn't do this. But that one, especially personal experience, I almost died from doing it. Now, I did drink alcohol and take Phenobut, but still, I did a lot more Benadryl than I did the other shit. So, mixed all those together. I, I went through psychosis, basically. Um, yeah, this, just, this is one you got to stay away from. Um, but I don't know if I should... I don't know if this, sh this should mean it should be S tier or F tier because because it's so popular and like there's so many people have done it it's just growing growing in popularity and it i don't know i think i think since i hate this drug so much and i don't want anyone using this i think i might put an f tier honestly it's probably the worst on here <laughs> even worse than the chemical agents no uh yeah i just because people are, i don't want anyone to use this so just watching this this is one that like really if you want to stay away from any any drug chemical plant on here it's that one i'd rather you do detura honestly that, that's how bad it is uh because this is you could die you know you could probably die from detura if you do enough but um you you're not gonna i mean you're gonna it's at least natural that's all i gotta say i don't know i don't i don't condone using any of these but i'm like i said I, you know these videos you can decide for yourself. I there's no way I can help or you know stop you, prevent you from doing it. Um, because when I was younger, I was watching videos like these, and I got interested in it, and you know it made me try stuff. But my personal opinion, I do not want you to try any of these. That's just my what what I want to say. My advice. Now that might you know cause some psychology right there, where it's like reverse psychology. You're like, oh well, I gotta try it then. But don't please. Um, so I just want to put that out there. I don't condone any drug use, especially this one the most. This is one on here that I really don't condone. I, I don't condone. So, um, yeah, so, and then another thing I, I was saying before is that when I, there was this one time I did it, um, I watched the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, that was probably the most, one of the most terrifying movies I've ever watched on a drug, um, uh, because, if you guys have ever seen it, um, spoiler a uh, spoiler alert. Uh, just skip ahead if you don't want to hear it. This is the original. Um, I I took it and like I remember it didn't kick in until like until the people started dying in the movie. And uh, when it got to the one scene, the constant you guys know the the run the where Sally Hardesty she is. She, it's just like she's being chased by Leatherface. and But when I was watching that scene, I know it's long already, but it felt like it lasted two hours. And you, all you heard was her screaming and the chainsaw. And like I was like, what the fuck? I was terrified. Uh, that shit was insane. And that's why that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Not just favorite horror movies, but one of my favorite movies. I think that movie is incredible. Um, but yeah, that was pretty terrifying watching that on Benadryl. It was just seeing that and then just the insanity of them that that dinner scene where they're preparing dinner all they're all uh 
Leatherface's family is all there and they're like screaming at her and just like doing some weird shit. The dead grandpa guy, you know, just eating a, chewing on a finger, sucking on a finger. I like, I don't recommend watching this, this movie on this drug or any drug really, unless you're smoking weed, maybe it could be fun, but yeah, definitely not on any psychedelics. (laughs) Most horror movies are not good to watch, um, on this and yeah, so yeah, that's what I got to say about that. That was, uh, I had a lot to say, actually. Wow. But I'll put an F tier. Um, but if I was to rank it based on, like, you know, just the the insanity of it, the craziness, I'd put an S tier. But since it has such a negative impact on everyone and everything, it's got to go in F tier. I'm sorry. Um, This next one, Belladonna. Yes, this is another plant. That is like Datura, um, and it is actually the most poisonous plant on Earth. Or not the po- most poisonous, but it is one of the most poisonous plants on Earth. And it does produce effects like Datura does. Um, I don't know if it's stronger than Datura. I don't think it is. Um, but the fact that uh, this this can be easily obtained in you know in the wild and you know plants grown on trees and shit, um, not trees, uh, but Apparently, kids have been known to take this stuff because they they see it as like a, a cute little berry and it like tastes good. Apparently, I've never done this before, so I can't say. So that's kind of scary. Like you gotta watch out if you have kids and you see a belladonna plant. Like you gotta you gotta be careful because they you know that you, you could just eat it and you know will they die? Maybe if they're little kids. You know I don't know how I don't I don't even know if an adult would survive if they ate that shit. But um. Yeah, I don't know. I I'm sure you would, but kids, you got to be careful. That's all I got to say. Just be careful cuz then probably the effects that would happen to them would be much more insane than, you know, if you were an adult like 25 years old where your brain fully develops, but man, that yeah, just be just just be careful about it. But I'm going to put this in um hmm, where should I put it? It's not going to be S tier, that's for sure cuz Datura is the king of S tier. Um a tier it is more popular than mandrake but i don't know if i want to put it in a tier yet because it is like uh fuck it um you know what oh shit i'm gonna put it actually yeah i'm gonna put an a tier above lean how about that Uh, that's how i feel now all right this next one is the last chemical warfare agent i picked and this is the most popular one. This is called QNB or BZ. And there's actually some trip reports on it, which I might read. Um, but I don't think they were bad. So that's the problem. I only read uh, trip reports that are bad trips on my channel. And to answer questions why I do that, that's because I like reading trip reports that are bad. I like horror stories. I've always liked horror stories. This is a horror channel. And I'll strictly do that. Now, sometimes uh, not every story is bad per se. But the effects that happen in it, uh, the story are so crazy that I had to make it. So that's what I want to say out there. If you guys are wondering ever about that, if you're new, because I've explained it many times, but, you know, some people don't watch, you know, not everyone watches every single video, you know, so you don't catch it. But that's the reason why I just like reading bad trips. It has nothing to do with misinformation or wanting to, you know, stop people from doing drugs, which is, but this is a harm reduction channel as well. But this is also my main reason for doing this was because I was interested in reading bad trips. You know, I just, I was always interested in doing it, but if you want to watch good trips, uh, and also, you know, bad trips, sometimes you could watch, uh, Vivek. He does a good job with it. Someone that's no one, um, trip reports. He's good, you know, and, uh, shout out low key fish too, because he, uh, he deserves to be monetized, but he's not, he reads like he informs people on which drug is safe, you know, which, you know, the dangers of it. So go check him out too. And then Blurry, um, prayers up to him. I don't know what's going on with him right now, but just keep him in your prayers, dude. He is, uh, he's going through some shit right now. So yeah. Um, yeah. So keep him in your thoughts. Uh, but Q and B, uh, yeah, like I said, this is the most popular military incapacitating agent. Um, it produces a syndrome of effects known as the anticholinergic toxidrome. Um, which I should have wrote down what happens during that. I don't know why I didn't, uh, and I'm not going to look it up either. Uh, but yeah, it, it basically, 
I just remember is producing delirium like effects like all these other drugs are but this is like yeah you know but the most fucked up part about this is is that they uh, tested this on American soldiers so that's the fucked up part like they they, they before they used it as a as a weapon they used it <laughs> for on their own people like what the fuck and there's a video you can actually check it out um i just watched it before this is pretty interesting i didn't watch the whole thing but i skimmed through it and uh yeah it just showed them you know the effects that was going on in the soldiers so go check that out uh it's called q and b again uh, or bz uh i think it was in 1963 they tested it on the on the people and the soldiers so go check that out uh, since it's th this is the most popular uh, hallucinogenic delirium uh, fucking warfare agent, uh, I'm going to put this in A tier, but I'm going to put it below Belladonna because Belladonna is, is just, um, I don't know. I'm just putting it there, <laughs> but it's above lean. That's all I got to say. Um, we got a couple more left, and these are three that you probably all should know. And uh, Nutmeg, this is another one that I've done. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I've never, the one time I did do it, I've explained before in my channel, but I think, I I don't know if if I was just dreaming or not, but the one time I did it, and, I'd, and the thing is with this, you have to do, like the actual whole nutmegs like you can't just buy the powder and do it which is what i did and i i remember i saw i was listening to the doors and uh light my fire was one of my favorite songs and my mom came in my room but she didn't actually do that uh but she was like her whole body was just fire and uh but it was like a blurred out fire it was so weird but it was like she looked like she was dancing like she was i don't know she was doing a weird dance and uh yeah, it was just, it was the weirdest thing ever. That's the only thing that I remember happening on it. Um, but yeah, so I have done it, but it doesn't really count because like I did the powder and yeah, I don't know if that really, I don't think that does anything from what I've read. It doesn't. Um, but this drug is very, uh, drug again. <laughs> uh, this freaking thing is uh, so, it, it's popular, I'd have to say. A lot of people don't know that nutmeg causes effects, delirium-like effects. Um so yeah this is a uh, it's an interesting one for sure it's it's definitely a spice that uh you know that people use for uh they put on eggnog i really don't like the taste of this i don't even know why people use it uh which is, it's just pretty terrible i remember drinking it uh i think i put it in like a milkshake or something and my mom smelled it that's when i did it when i saw light my fire mom and uh yeah the it, it tastes horrible but that could have been because I used a whole bunch. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like this. I don't think this is positive in any way. So I'm going to have to put this in D tier, I'd say. Uh, I'd rather this is better than Benadryl, but not by that much. So And it's below Unisom because I've never done Unisom and I can't say it. And it's definitely below everything else. This next one, uh, Scopolamine. Uh, Scopolamine scopolamine scope scope whatever how you pronounce it i don't know i just did a video on it too so pardon me this is also known as devil's breath and it actually the first the first time i i found out about this drug was a vice video i think it's the world's deadliest drug or some shit i think that's what they did it on i think they did it on scopolamine um it naturally occurs in belladonna brugmansia and detura and i didn't add brugmansia because it's basically just like detura so i i just put that in there for that um just to name a few uh but it is also prescribed to pre uh, to prevent nausea and vomiting caused by motion sickness or medications used during surgery now i recently found out that they actually prescribed this like a couple months ago i had no idea um, I, the only thing I knew about this plant before I started this channel was that, um, or not plant, um, <laughs> whatever, dude, just, just go with me. I'm going crazy right now. Um, I'm almost done with this video. I'm getting all hyped up. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that they prescribed it. Um, but that's pretty cool that you can get it as a patch. You can apply it to yourself, uh, but you can also do it intravenously, insufflate it and, uh, and uh, uh, there's another way. Oh, no, I already said transdermal patch. Uh, so yeah, this drug, um, 
yeah, I'm just keep on saying that this drug is very, po uh, very powerful and potent and it's somewhat popular and it's just like a cool, you know, there's some cool stories on it. Um, but I have never done this drug either. So I can't really give my opinion on it, but from what I've heard hearing it, you know, there's still a lot of bad trips on it and it, it is used to like for mind control. A lot of it is used as a weapon for that. So just for the fact of that, that is like pretty, pretty dangerous substance. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put an F tier because it is just like, I don't know, just the insanity of it. And I, I, and it's, I don't know, because I, I just have a gripe towards Benadryl. That's why I just put it there, diphenhydramine, whatever. Um, so I'm going to put it in B tier above Mandrake. Um, I think I'm going to put Ditran above Mandrake. Oh. So yeah, like I said, this ranking is going to be weird. Um, it doesn't, it's just going off of whatever I feel like. So yeah, uh, this last one uh, is Ambien. Now, before you comment down below, it's not a delirium. Um, yes, I know, um, but it is a sedative. Um, but it when you take high doses, I don't even know if you have to take high doses because when I did it before, this is the the one drug I did do. Uh, it makes you hallucinate. Trust me, if you especially if you stay up. Um, this is treated for insomnia and shit. Uh, especially if you stay up for it. Oh my god. I remember I was hallucinating like crazy on it the one time. I, I made a video on how I hallucinated at school, in high school, and I did it. And I, yeah, I did this in school. So yeah, did it twice in school. I didn't learn my lesson the first time, but uh, yeah, I did it twice. This drug is so powerful. I remember that um, when I did it, my uh, my one friend found it um, in his mom's boyfriend's pill cabinet. And uh, yeah, so we there's like 12 in there. I think they were 10 milligrams or 7.5 or whatever. And I remember he really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, he, we haven't done it in a while since then, like since in high school, that's the last time I did it, which was six, seven years ago, almost eight years ago at this point. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, time is flying by, but this drug is crazy. And since I've done it, I can tell you that it is, I wouldn't say it's fun. Um, but if you're in a safe location, you're not going anywhere, you're in your room, um, it, is, it is one of the more fun recreational drugs. Um, so I'm going to have to put it in A tier. Oops. Uh, I think I'm going to put it above, which one's that? Is that Q and B? Uh, Q and B. I'm going to put it right here because since I've done it, and I could put it above Belladonna. I've never done Belladonna, and it, yeah, so, um, wow. So, yeah, this is my tier ranking. Uh, and like I said, this is, uh, this is just off of well, however I feel it should be deserved, you know, just the way it's perceived and shit. If it's dangerous, even if it's dangerous, that doesn't affect where I ranked it, except for Benadryl, because Benadryl just fucking sucks. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's my, t oops. That's my tier list on this shit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want me to do another tier list on another category of drugs, uh, just leave it in the comment section below because I will. Um, I had to make this tier list. I didn't find this. I made this. And uh, I could just make another one. And there is a lot more deliriums out there. But these is, like I said, these are the ones that I'm like more familiar with and that I thought were interesting. So... Uh, yeah, this is um, like I could have included Henbane too, but I really don't know anything about it. Um, yeah, so this is uh, this was my tier list. And um, yeah, like I said, if you want to uh, see another one, just put in the comment section below. And before I end this video, I just want to put a quick disclaimer, uh, update, whatever you want to call it. My last Detura video, apparently people think it's a re-upload, which it's not. Um, every time I read, a, I find a story, I copy the link of the story into the YouTube browser. And if no results come up, that means I have not done it and no one else has done a story on it. Uh, so that makes it, that makes me want to try, you know, that makes me want to do it more because I'm not gonna, I think I've re, I've, I've never re uploaded a story, but I have re I have read an, the same story twice before on accident, which I didn't know. 
that's the only time if you ever think it's re-upload uh yeah so i've never re-uploaded a video i don't know why people think i do that uh because there's a lot of other trip report channels out there that also read trip reports so you got to remember that just because um you heard the story before does not mean i read it and uh, apparently Psych Substance read it. I did see he did a deter a video, but I didn't watch it. I just know he did a deter a trip report, but apparently I guess that's the one he did, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. If uh, you guys thought it was a re-upload or you know, I was just trying to like make it easy, make it easy for myself. Um, it wasn't because I got off of work and uh, my reading problem is still going on, but I read this pretty well, these notes, um, but yeah um it's getting a little better so i'm still going to talk to my psychiatrist about it she prescribed me a new medication but it didn't work um so yeah i'll have to tell her about that but um yeah i don't i don't re-upload i don't do that kind of shit i'm not that kind of fucking person and i worked on the video after work i worked till um five o'clock ate dinner and then took a shower and then i got out like six 37 o'clock recorded it took me like an hour and a half to record that story just so you know and it took me till 11 to actually have it uploaded you know edited and shit so yeah i didn't i don't know why people think i i re-upload it's it honestly makes my my head shake shake shaking my head uh yeah so i'll never do that i'm not a fucking person who does that uh, the only the only re-uploads I'll do are for the compilations at the end of the month. That's the only time I re-upload. So, and that's just for that's just to put all the best stories together. That's the only time I'll do it. So, if you think I do, I re-upload videos. It's not, and you could clearly hear the difference in my voice from back then, the mic quality. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why people think that, but just want to put that out there so you guys know. And uh, I don't do that shit. I'm not that type of YouTuber. So, all right. Uh, that was that, and uh, yeah, have a good day, and um, be safe out there. Don't do any of these drugs. <laughs>